Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you joined me today. I am going to do a massive makeup clear out. It's an embarrassing amount, just FYI. <laughs> and I'm going to be organizing it. I love watching Clean With Me videos because it makes me feel productive and it kind of gives me that motivational push that I need to kind of clean out my own stuff. So I wanted to do that for you. So a little bit of background with my history of makeup. When I was younger, like high school age, maybe 15 or 16, I started babysitting and not only did I buy my own clothes, but I also bought my own makeup. And so since I'm on, you know, babysitting budget, I didn't really have a lot of money to work with. So I didn't have a lot of products, just the bare necessities, and I was always looking for things that were on sale or things that were in a lower price range, that sort of thing. And since I didn't really have a big budget to work with for makeup, I usually stuck to the same products over and over and over. And once I became a vlogger, all of that changed. I have been so fortunate to work with so many incredible brands for my blog and my Instagram, and I've had the opportunity to try new products that I wouldn't have been able to try otherwise. And I have to say that I found some new favorites and found some new brands that I didn't even know existed and found some new products that I didn't even know that I needed in my life and so it's been a really incredible experience and I love that aspect of my job where I can try out my favorites and recommend them to all of you because reviews mean a lot. Personally I look at reviews for everything, furniture, jewelry, clothing, beauty products, you name it. I put so much trust into other people's reviews and as someone who does have experience in the skincare field working for a dermatologist and who has had the opportunity to try out different products, I know what I like, I know what my skin likes, and for the majority I know what types of products you guys like. And as far as decluttering, I do some sort of clean out every single month, but I haven't done a big clear out in a long time, so really excited about that. And if you've ever wanted to do a makeup clean out, you're probably wondering what to do with all the products. So I do a few different things. I actually have two different makeup sashes. So I have the one in here in my room. Um, and that is all of my personal makeup, the makeup that I use, you know, that kind of thing. And then in my office, I have my PR stash. So in my PR stash, I have things like duplicates or multiples of the same item, uh, things that don't work for my skin or that aren't the right color for my skin, or things that just aren't a good match, like super bright colors, glitter, that kind of thing. Things that I don't really wear. Because sometimes I get PR packages that have the whole collection of foundations and I can't wear the whole collection. <laughs> so what do you do with them? So for the PR stash in my office, I actually have set aside an entire box for a giveaway or multiple giveaways and then all the rest will be donated to a local women's shelter and all of that stuff is unopened, unused, hasn't even been taken out of the box. And today I'm going through my personal stash which does include products that I have used or that I intended to use but I didn't actually use and so those items will either go to family and friends or if it's completely used up, then it'll be trashed. I do tend to keep a lot of my makeup until it's been finished completely, just because I don't like to waste, so that's why I'm doing a lot of different piles. I don't like to trash anything unless it's absolutely, absolutely, obviously expired, <laughs> or it's been used all the way. And to be honest, I have more than enough makeup, and so the items that I haven't used it's just sitting there and so it does me no good for it just to sit in my office when it could really make someone's day and someone else could use it and enjoy it and love it and find a new favorite product or feel beautiful with their new makeup. It just makes me happy and you know what, I'm only one person and I can only wear so much makeup and I only have so much space in my apartment. So. 
it's necessary to do a clear out. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are some of my lipsticks. And then I have more over here. It's full of more lipsticks and other stuff. <laughs> oh dear. And then in this drawer, it's all bronzers, highlighters, and blush. And then this one is all eyeshadows, eyelashes. And then I have a bag full of stuff that was on top of my vanity. And yeah, way too much. Okay, let's start with the easy stuff first. These are my eyeliners, and I'm really picky when it comes to eyeliner because I usually do a cat eye, and if I'm not doing a cat eye, then I'm just doing like a simple eyeliner look, if I wear eyeliner at all. This is the one that I'm currently using, and I really love it. It makes the perfect cat eye. This one is my all-time favorite. And I actually have a second one that hasn't been opened. This one is pretty much done, so I am just going to get rid of it. Um, I haven't used this, so I'm going to put that in a pile to give to a friend. Gel liner. Yes, like gel liner. Give that one to a friend. I have quite a few mascaras, especially the Too Faced because I actually did some freelance work for them doing product photos so they gave me a ton like way too many <laughs> more than I could ever wear and I ended up giving away half of them and these two are the ones that I have left from that and then these are new and right now I'm using the Better Than Sex mascara layered with the Damn Girl mascara and then in between I use this Givenchy white mascara and I don't really wear fake lashes that often so that's why I layer. I'm gonna keep these, keep these for travel, uh, keep this one to layer in between. Mm. Do I really need four more? Yes, I do. Also love Lancome mascaras. Monsieur Big is one of my absolute favorites. And right now I'm using the waterproof version for my lower lashes so that I don't get mascara all over my skin. I actually don't have very many brow products. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to that. This one I think was a little bit too dark, so I'll give that to my sister. And this one is good, I like that one. This is a clear one, so I'll keep that. This one is my favorite one. So this is an older one, and I'm gonna get rid of that. It is from Lancome. I just bought a new one, so I'll keep that one, get rid of that one. And then this is also a favorite. This is my Dior Show Brow Styler Eyebrow Pencil, and it's amazing because you can just draw on little hairs, and it's great, so I'll keep that one. These are concealers. I use these all the time. These are my absolute favorites, and I've actually really been loving this CoverGirl concealer, so I'm gonna keep that. I also really love the Givenchy. This one is done. <laughs> Some BB creams. My favorite one is from Pure Lease, so I will keep that one. I've also really been loving these CoverGirl Clean Fresh foundations. 
and I usually wear those when I'm at home. However, I have way too many of them. These are all my foundations and unlike a lot of my makeup, I actually do use the majority of these. So I use all the Clarins ones. Those are among my favorite. And I also use all of the Givenchy ones. And my YSL one. This one from Too Faced is actually too dark, which bums me out because I really did like it. So I'm gonna give that one to someone else. I also love the Air Flash from Dior, super easy to use, one of my favorites. This one's almost gone, so I'm gonna finish that up and then get rid of it. And really love the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Makeup. It's super affordable and reminds me a lot of my favorite, the Double Wear from Estee Lauder. And sadly, this one is pretty much all gone, so I need to get rid of that. These are primers and setting sprays. So I actually don't use too many primers. But I do love this one from Dior, so I'll keep that. And then this one from YSL is probably my absolute favorite. So I have a lot of these and actually have multiples. Uh, this one I've had for a while. It looks kind of old, so I think I'll ditch that one, keep this one, and mm, these are really good. These are lip pencils and plumping lip crayons. So this one is my favorite. It's from Buxom and it is Dolly Danger. I do wear that one all the time, so I will keep that one. Also really like that one. I think I might get rid of those. Mm, that's kind of pretty, but I have too many. These are loose powders. I do love and use this color corrector from Givenchy and then also love this one from Becca. I do love this one from Too Faced and it smells like cinnamon. This is a really nice body powder. I don't have any other body powders so I will keep that. This one is really nice but I also have a similar one. Hmm. I did not realize how many highlighters I had. <laughs> so I definitely need to get rid of them. I use these pretty much daily. They are my favorite. Just like the powder. They're amazing. And I love this one just because it's really, really pretty. So I don't think I could part with that. Or even use it. <laughs> it's just gonna stay here. Um, I haven't used this one, but it does look really pretty, so I don't know. I'll put that in the maybe pile. Oh, I haven't used that one either. Mm, oh my gosh, that's a maybe too. This one I use all the time. It is my favorite one. I just got this along with pretty much every color, so... I'm gonna keep the lighter one and then the other ones I will use for a giveaway or donate. These are contour palettes and probably other things. <laughs> so this one is fairly new, so I'm going to keep that one. This one I use all the time, but I only use these two colors so I think I'll just pop these out put them in a case and then give the rest away I probably have way more blushes than anyone should own <laughs> and I tend to stick 
to the same type of colors like a light pink or a mauvey color I don't typically go for brights, although I do have some that I like. This is my absolute favorite blush. I use it all the time, so I can't live without that. Ooh, that's pretty. Keep that. These are from Jill Stewart. They're so pretty. Love them all. And actually, you know what? I think I will keep them all, too. I use this one all the time when I'm at home. It's my go-to. I will be keeping that. So when it comes to eyeshadow, I typically go for more neutral colors. I don't usually wear colored eyeshadows unless they have a pink tone. So I will keep that in mind. these. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I use this one all the time. These are some of my most used palettes. So definitely going to keep those. And I think these are the same. Yeah. So I think I might give this one to a friend or put it in a giveaway. Love the Givenchy palettes. These are so luxe. So beautiful. Also really love the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I use that one a ton. This is probably my most used palette. I love it so much. lashes and I have a confession I don't wear lashes a lot <laughs> just for like special occasions or New York Fashion Week uh, events things like that but I do like the look of them however I don't like them to be super over the top so I'll get rid of those and keep really cute ones Okay, we're in the home stretch. So these are lipsticks and then I will do my liquid lipsticks. I have quite a few lipsticks just because I'm obsessed with lip colors, but I feel like I go for certain lip colors now more than I used to. I used to really like bright colors, but now I go for like softer pinks, nudes, mauve colors that sort of thing and so I really need to get rid of the ones that I don't really wear anymore or that I haven't worn so here we go okay so I really like all of the Jill Stewart ones they're really nice and light and they have sheer coverage so I will keep those plus they're just really pretty to look at and they have a really cute little mirror <laughs> One of my favorites from YSL, can't live without that. Ooh, that's kind of, well, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's like a 1950s coral color. So I think I'll keep that. And we're so, and actually I've had them for quite a while. So I need to see if they're any good. This one is a new one. Love that one. I use this one all the time. Probably one of my most used ones. It's Rodeo Drive from Gerard Cosmetics. These are all from Clarins, and they're all the same colors, but they have different finishes, so I just need to decide which finish I like more. So, I'll put these over here for now. I also really like this color from Winky Lux. I've used quite a bit of it, as you can tell. This one's actually a color that I created <laughs> myself, so I have to keep that one. got my liquid lipsticks and I know I have way too many of these so these are all brand new 
Okay, the lip plumpers from Too Faced, and I really like them, so I will keep those, of course. Love all of these beauty colors. That one's a little too bright. Are you sensing that I have a type when it comes to lipstick colors? <laughs> I really love these lip oils from CoverGirl, so I will keep those. This is actually a duplicate, so I will give that away. So I do like lip glosses, but I don't really wear too many of the glittery ones, so I'll probably get rid of all of those and give them to friends and family. And then also super bright colors like this, I just don't wear anymore. And these I think are just duplicates. I do love the dolly, so I'll keep the dolly, but I'll give away the mudslide. I have miscellaneous lip powders, lip gloss, lip tint. <laughs> these juicy tubes are amazing. I actually use these at night when I go to bed and then during the day. They're super hydrating and nourishing, so I'll keep those. And I love things that change the color of my lips, and by that I mean they work with my pH and kind of create the perfect pink. So really like this Buxom lip gloss or lipstick lip whatever it is <laughs> but my very favorite is the Dior lip glow and I am actually just about out this is how much I have left so I just bought a new one so I'm gonna use this one up these Givenchy lipsticks work in the same way they look scary and dark but they're not they're really nice and also very hydrating these are lip colors from Emile Cordon, and they're actually super incredible, very hydrating, moisturizing, and a really nice hint of color. And these are just the sheer version. They don't really have too much color, but they're really nice and hydrating. Now that I finished the clean out, it's time to organize. I love these spinning organizers for lipsticks and glosses. I use this organizer for face products like foundation, BB cream, concealer, and primer. And I use this one for eye and lip products like additional lipsticks, mascara, eyeliner, and lip liner. I have additional products in this drawer including travel products, duplicates, and items that can easily be located. This top drawer is full of blush, bronzers, and highlighters, along with other facial powders. And this bottom drawer includes eyeshadow palettes and false lashes. Overall, I ended up parting with half of my collection, so I'd say that this was a pretty successful cleanout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this inspires you to do your own cleanout, and I hope that you'll like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye!